What's up everyone, Dabblade here with a Hunter's Guide to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. In this episode I'll be giving you an overview and guide of the Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds crossover event with Monster Hunter World Iceborne. This is in fact the fourth crossover event that Horizon has done with Monster Hunter World, but this is the first for Iceborne and the Frozen Wilds. Now during this event players will be able to get themselves the Storm Slinger prototype like Bogan as well as the Focus Pendant. So in this short guide I hope to bring you a little bit of an overview of the event quest players will need to take part in to craft this new gear. Now firstly it should be noted that you don't need any of the materials from the previous Horizon Zero Dawn event quests. So you don't need the Watcher lenses, the Nora Brave tickets or Aloy tickets found from the base version of Monster Hunter World. All the materials you need to craft the new gear is found within this new event quest. So what is this new event quest? Well it's called Into the Frozen Wilds, a 6 star master rank quest that requires hunters to be master rank 24 or higher and has players taken on a Zenoga in the Hoarfrost Reach. Zenoga is not normally found in this location but it makes for a unique fight. Zenoga is normally located in zone 14 towards the north of the Hoarfrost Reach. Of course to even access Zenoga you have to have completed the main Iceborne story. So not everyone may be used to fighting the Thunder Wolf. When you're taking him on be wary especially when he is charged up as he can inflict players with Thunder Blight making them more vulnerable to being stunned and on top of that when he is charged up he hits incredibly hard. Remember also that Zenoga is not affected by shock traps when he is supercharged, however pitfall traps will still work. Now you can counter this slightly by knocking Zenoga over and when he's on his back if you take the capture net out and fire it towards his neck where you can see some glowing blue lights around the top of the monster you'll be able to capture these Vogel bugs which is what Zenoga uses to charge itself up preventing him from going into his electrified state, at least for a little while. For those of you unaware about the lore of Zenoga, basically it has a symbiotic relationship with these Fogel bugs. The two of them live in unison and sort of coexist and this relationship allows Zenoga to make use of electric attacks. But anyway, should you be able to bring down Zin Zin, you'll be rewarded with Banuk Warrior Symbols. These can be taken to the smithy and can be used to craft either the Storm Slinger like Bogun so long as you have some spare Zenoga parts to go with it, or the Focus Pendant. The Focus Pendant is actually a really good looking pendant and really stands out on your hunter. As for the Storm Slinger prototype Light Bowgun, this is a strange Light Bowgun in all honesty. It's only Rarity 9 and as a result it can only have 3 custom Bowgun mods which is a little bit of a shame. It also has very high deviation. But on the flip side it has quite high raw attack, not the highest out of the light bowguns but still notable. When it comes to the ammo that the light bowgun has available to it as well it's actually quite a small amount. It has access to rapid fire normal 1, auto reload pierce 2, rapid fire spread 1, auto reload sticky 2, paralysis 1, auto reload paralysis 2, thunder ammo, auto reload demon and trank ammo. So it's not a huge amount and in all honesty if I was to build something using this weapon I would probably go for a auto reload sticky 2 build or a single shot thunder elemental build. Personally I don't think this is going to be a meta weapon which is a shame but I still think it is going to be usable even if it's going to be quite niche. So there we have it. Now a reminder you may want to stock up on the Banuk warrior symbols basically the items you get from this event quest as I'm sure the next part of the Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds crossover event is around the corner where we'll be able to get the upgraded Aloy armor from Horizon Zero Dawn's expansion as well as potentially upgrade our Palico's Watcher armor. We'll have to wait and see. And as always of course when that comes around I'll be sure to keep you updated with what's new. It will also be interesting to see if we get an upgrade to the Aloy bow but I highly doubt it. But anyway that's about it for this video and until next time I've been Darblade bring you a hunter's guide to part one of the Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds crossover event with Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.